हे एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल रूफ ड्रॉइड हेयर आई डिस्कस अबाउट बिल्डिंग एंड प्रोग्रामिंग ऑन ओल्ड ड्रोन्स अबाउट सिमुलेशन एंड रोबोटिक्स इन जनरल सो आई हैव बीन पोस्टिंग वीडियोज ऑफ माई ड्रोन डेवलपमेंट एंड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ वेरियस सेंसर्स टू माई ड्रोन इन माई मोस्ट रिसेंट वीडियो आई हैव डिस्कस अबाउट एडिंग अ बैरोमीटर इज इज हेयर to my drone for measuring high altitudes so in today's video i will show you the uh, the real time telemetry data of altitude that i am receiving from my drone via bluetooth so as you can see i have mounted the barometer along with the slave the bed this is the barometer under the piece of cotton this is the barometer along with the slave arduino this is the slave arduino which i'm using as a secondary Arduino and it, the entire assembly is mounted under the drone body. So this is the primary flight controller, which I have already discussed in my previous videos. This is the primary Arduino board, the MPU six zero five zero, and the secondary board along with the sonar. This is the sonar sensor and the Bluetooth. They are all mounted under the drone. Okay, so although the barometer is not very precise. it has a resolution of some plus minus 1 meter to 2 meters but at high altitudes even this resolution is good enough for our drone to use so for lower altitudes i'll be using a sonar which can measure height up to 4 meters so this is how i will go ahead so let's go ahead with the flight and i'll show you the real time data do what okay so here we have the graphs so you can see the data streaming okay it starts from somewhere zero i have taken the zero reference as ground so now i'm raising the drone and you can see the response in the barometer readily and now it is being lowered i have done this intentionally just to see the response on the graph and now it's rising so we are approaching 10 meters a summer stable at that height now and then further it is increasing now to 12 meters stable there and then 14 meters and then we go to a maximum height of 16 meters well i could have gone further but i did not take the risk due to the wind at a high level and now i am trying to bring down the drone the steep drop in altitude so that i can see the barometer reading and you can see that in the data and then further down to 4 meters here i am keeping the hover in the drone at 4 meters just to see the flat curve on the data and then we have our landing that is without one landing gear so today's flight and experiment was a success uh, we have a very good data from the barometer which uh, is an which proves the fact that i can use the barometer in my drone for functions such as altitude hold although i have been i have already implemented that using sonar for lower altitudes but for higher altitudes it is possible to use the bmp280 i could also go ahead with ms5611 which is a more uh, which is a much better barometric sensor and has a higher resolution 
So it's important to note that I have been flying this drone in the manual mode. So entire operation is manual. Okay friends, I will try to implement this altitude hold using a barometric sensor in a future video. But before that I would like to post another video in the future uh, regarding some issues that usually come up when using two Arduinos in a I2C network with multiple sensors communicating with both the Arduinos that is the MPU6050 communicating with the master controller and the BMP280 I2C community communicating with the slave controller so there are issues so I had I solved that I had to synchronize the communication between the two giving priority to the communication with MPU6050 I will discuss this in a future video so till then uh, stay tuned do like my video share and also please, please press the bell icon so that you may get new videos thank you guys have a nice day